Why, hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your love reading for the first half of October 2021. In this general love reading, we are going to dive deep into the connection between you and the person that you're dealing with. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you this time, that just means it's someone else's reading and not yours. But in that case, be sure to come back next week because every single week I do post new and fresh readings for Capricorn people and all other signs as well. So be sure to check your other signs for a full forecast of your love energy for the first half of October. But in this uh, reading, we're really going to streamline in on the connection between you and the person that you're dealing with or thinking of right now. Okay, so I'm going to switch it up and use this uh, Teal Swan Frequency Tarot deck. It's a little bit different, but I think you guys will like it. So yeah, with that being said, Capricorn, let's jump right into your reading. And the first thing we're going to do is see how this person is feeling about you. So let's unlock that. What is this person's true feelings, current feelings about you right now? Let's go. As always, I want to thank the angels, interdimensional beings, spirit guides who are here uh, working with us, allowing this reading to flow synchronistically for the Capricorn people watching. Thank you so much. How is your person currently feeling about you, Capricorn? Let's see. Got two more here. How is this person feeling about you? What are their true feelings? Last one, what is this person's true feelings about you? How are you showing up to them? How are they feeling? All right, so the three cards jumping out here. We have the calming card. So I feel like they you definitely calm this person down. We also have the surrender card. Okay, so there's almost this feeling of like when they're around you or when they think about you, they really feel calm, like you, you bring them down. It makes sense you're an earth sign, pretty grounded. You also have the potential card here. This is a big one, potential. So this person definitely sees themselves in a potential love relationship with you if you haven't already been with them, even if you're dealing with an ex or for some of you in a relationship, there's potential to grow it and move it forward. But mainly this is going to be for singles. Um, but Capricorn calming and surrender. I feel like this person, um, this is this, the energy here is like, almost like this is a match made in heaven, because I always say that the person that you want to be with in life, your partner should be the person that kind of calms you down. This is almost shaping up to be like a long term relationship potential rather than a, um, a kind of like one night stand type thing. This definitely has long term potential with this literal potential card. I want to clarify this potential card here. Why is this potential card here for the Capricorn people? What what potential does this person see in you? Right? Obviously, you can calm them down and they can kind of surrender into life. But why is this potential here? Why do they feel potential about you? Let's see. Too early. I'm going to do two more. Why is this potential card here for the Capricorns? Why do they feel potential in you? Last one here, potential. I'll set up back. What? <laughs> the potential card is clarified by the lover's card. So you can't make this stuff up. This person is absolutely interested in a relationship with you. Okay, you can't make it up with the lover's card, baby. You know, lovers and potential. You guys have, uh, I'm getting it right off the bat. It's potential to create a family together, to create, even if you don't want a family, some sort of like long-term freaking thing. But that potential can be scary. But the good news is, the reason I think it's gonna work is because you calm this person down, right? Surrender, calming down. It's almost like, uh, when they talked, this is like the opposite of like having the hots for someone. They could, they, this person most likely definitely views you as hot, right? Why else would the lover's card come out? But there's a different quality. Some of you may be what we call star seeds, light workers. You have a different crystalline DNA activated from birth, which then 
I've been tripping people out my whole life, right? They don't know how to deal with it. I don't know. Maybe that's just ego. But whatever, you know, we're on this earth plane. We're spiritual beings. Just do my best, okay? Don't judge me here with my spiritual views. Try to keep them out of the readings, although I probably shouldn't. Okay, so we see how they're feeling about you. Now, let's take a look at the actions that they plan on taking towards you. So that was all how they're feeling on the inside. But when we get down to it, when we break it down, what actions does this person plan on taking towards you? Keep in mind, this is for the first half of October. So let's see if it's really going to start moving quick, okay? By the time you watch this, it's probably October 7th or 8th. Let's see, uh, Capricorn, what is this person's intention, action? What are they going to do? Four major shuffles here. What is this person going to do? I like this reading a lot. What is this person going to do, Capricorn? Let's see. Got two more here. What is this person's intention? What are they going to do action-wise? we got a jumper. That's beautiful. One more. What is this person going to do? Right? Not all talk. What are their actions going to do? What are their actions, spirit? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so their actions, we have the King of Swords, we have the Sun card, and we also have the Two of Wands here. So the Sun card to the Two of Wands would indicate that um, maybe they're going to sit back and relax and just kind of wait for things to happen. But then you have this King of Swords here. So there's almost like this potential. I feel like either way, you guys are going to be together. You're going to reconcile. The question is, is whether it's going to happen sooner or later with this Two of Wands. But these are all really great cards. So it would show me the, they're, they're going to take some sort of action towards you. Maybe there's something that you you can do to open that door. We're going to see in a little bit. I want to clarify this King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? Because depending on the clarification, this will tell us a lot. Why is this King of Swords here? But this person is like, yeah, you guys are going to be together at some point. I could tell you that. Um, for some reason, they might be postponing though. But let's see. I'm not going to take that. Two more. Why is the King of Swords here? For Capricorn and this person. Why King of Swords? I feel like this person is, the energy is like they're plotting to like really like, to like make sure. Um, yeah, so you have the existence card here. So this is all about, this is like the magician card in the Osho Zen Tarot deck. So they're really contemplating, they're in deep thought, right? They're, they're reflecting about not only like how they're going to manifest you, but like the whole universe. There's something very spiritual about this relationship. Um where I feel like you're more of the yin and they're more of the yang. So like, and it would make sense, right? You have the sun card. This is like the masculine moon represents feminine. You also have this king of swords. So I feel like um, based on what we see now, it's almost like you can sit back and relax. Excuse the train. Hopefully you can hear, can't hear that. But it's almost like you're the yin. So even if you're a guy, it doesn't matter. It's like this person, um, I feel like they fit in to that yang aspect so their actions is like they're waiting but um they're definitely going to take some action towards you at some point i don't know it doesn't seem like it's going to be in the first half of october but it could be absolutely it could for some of you definitely who are already more like so actually talking to this person um right now let's look at the most likely outcome for the first half of october so we're just going to pull one card here what's the most likely outcome spirit three major shuffles that was the first one What's the most likely outcome here for the first half of October for Capricorn? Person? All right, we've literally had like no bad cards pot or like bad cards, but we've this is this is like there's no problems yet. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! All right, so it's interesting. So there's a split going on here. 
Um, the most likely outcome of the is the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords here. So I would say make sure that you guys aren't icing them out. Maybe there's a third party situation that you would have to get rid of, but there's some sort of um, denial or maybe it's you or even maybe it's them though, like them being in that King of Swords energy, like too much in the logic. And so they don't really like dive deep into that really heart centered space. Um, but once again, you have the Ace of Cups here for the for the outcome. So I feel like I feel like what's happening is there's a brewing happening for the first half of October where this energy is like becoming so strong that it's just going to melt that resistance away. So I feel like that's what's happening here. Like their love is growing. You may get like hints of you may be like DMing or you may be. Um, like going back and forth on something, but they're, it's almost like the resistance is melting away is what I sense is the most likely outcome. So are they going to reach out for some of you? It's a, it's a split. Cause remember I'm reading for a whole bunch of different Capricorns out there. So for some of you, I, I sense it's going to happen for others though. You just have to let that block melt. Okay. Um, there may be some sort of other, there may be a battle that they're fighting that you have no idea about is what I'm getting, but once again, you have the lover's card popping out of the deck. So they love, like, this is a, this is, once again, I said it in the beginning, a match made in heaven. I really do feel like that. Um, the two of swords was like the first negative, you could say negative card that would come out. So with, what we're going to do now, um, we're going to get the advice from the universe for you. So let's say that you wanted to make this connection work, Capricorn. What advice could you take that would, um, draw them to you or for your own unique situation let's just get the advice what does the universe want you to do spirit guides let's see that we're gonna do three major shuffles that was the first one what's the advice for capricorn if they want to successfully either reconcile if it's an ex how whatever your situation is just make it work the way that you want it to work how can we make it work two more what's the advice for capricorn people Last one, what's the advice for Capricorn? I don't know. You got three cards popping out of the deck. Um, there is an energy of you have to let this person play something out that they're dealing with, okay? So they're dealing with a situation. The advice for you, we have the Two of Swords... We have the Page of Swords, and we also have the Justice card. Justice. So there's something, there's some sort of karmic situation that you're going to have to sit back, relax, and watch it from a distance with diligence. Be, like, be very curious with this Page of Swords energy. Maybe there's someone, I feel like there's someone that this person is connected to that you could reach out to gather intelligence about what the actual specifics are that they're dealing with. But this person may be dealing with a legal battle for some of you Capricorns out there. Um, but the advice is to sit back. Okay. This is, this is, I mean, the page of swords might indicate you need to move and shake a little bit, but the justice card and the, the two of, um, swords here, I feel like the advice also is to just realize they're closed off. They're dealing with, this person is dealing with something that you have no idea about and you have to let it swing. I feel like maybe they've been in a relation. Maybe they're in a relationship right now with someone for the, for a lot of you, that's what it is. You have to let karma play it's out. If you're meant to be with this person, if you're meant to be, you will be. You have to sit back and relax and let this play out, okay? Once again, from, from the initial part of this reading, you're the calming presence in this dynamic. You are not really meant to be the one to go forward with it. Um, so let's just do one more fun little thing. This is going to be um, an, an Oracle card deck. We're going to pull a card here. There's different people, different like celebrities on this deck. They're just archetypes. What energy could you embody to really pull this person towards you, Capricorn. Let's say that you really wanted to make it work. What energy would best pull this person to you? Let's do three major shuffles um, with this Oracle card deck. What energy could you really embody? There's something about sitting back, letting their own karma play out. But let's see, Capricorn, what is the advice for you? What energy should... Capricorn and body. Last one.
Ricky Martin. Okay, Ricky Martin. I don't I don't even know who that is. You guys know who that is? But let's read what it says to you. It says, sex is like exercise. Practice and discipline are essential. So maybe um, learn about sex. Learn about how to please your partner. Okay, that's something you could do in the meantime. It says, the crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. The crowd can go wild, but love is something only your secret heart can know. So take what you will from that. And then it says, keep your friends like your bathing suits tight. Okay, so I'll let you do with what you're going to do with that information. <laughs> okay, maybe sharpen your skills in the bedroom. I don't know. But other than that, I hope you enjoy this reading, Capricorn. I really do see a bright future with you and this person. You just got to let their own karma play out. Maybe there's something you can do to help them. Uh, but with that being said, please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe, smash that like button like all the YouTubers say. Whatever. I'll talk to you guys soon, Capricorn. Peace and good luck.